by connecting to OneDrive for business, we can share files, sync files, store documents, collaborate anywhere and protect our business documents by performing actions such as upload file, update files, get files, delete files, and many more we can do on the top of that. Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with create file action as part of OneDrive for Business actions. Let me drag and drop create file action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this create file action is to create file in the specific folder in OneDrive. Let's have a small use case over here. In my local folder, that is e colon power automate desktop folder, I am having few files over here. You can see employee selection Excel file, employee text file, employee Excel file, files document, and one more presentation file are available in my local folder. Now what I have to do, I have to copy files document in my OneDrive for Business folder. In my OneDrive for Business, there's a folder we have created that is Power Automate Desktop. There, as of now, this folder is empty. I need to create a file in this folder by using create file action. That is our small use case. Now, we are going to create a file in our OneDrive for Business folder that is Power Automate Desktop by using create file action. If you observe, there are the parameters that we have. If you see over here, I'm having connection references. In our previous session, we have learned how to connect to the OneDrive for Business by using connection reference. Now, we'll go to the parameters for create file action. The first parameter is the folder path. Now, I have to create a file in the specific folder in OneDrive for Business. Now, what is the folder that we have to, you have to select the variable over here or the folder, select a folder or file, click on that. Now, if you see, I'm having root. This is coming from the OneDrive for Business. Now, inside that, if you expand the root over here once again, there you can see I'm having subfolders over here in such a way. One is Microsoft Teams chart files. That is one folder. Another folder is Power Automate Desktop, which we have created as part of the tutorials, right? Now, I want to create a file in the folder in OneDrive for Business that is Power Automate Desktop. So that I'm going to select the folder path as Power Automate Desktop. Now, I want to give the file name. The file name which it has to create in the Power Automate Desktop folder that is for OneDrive for Business. Now, I'm going to say pad.docx. Now, I'm just going to give the short name or the file name as Power Automate Desktop.docx. I'm going to create a file in document format. Now, if you observe, there is a third parameter that is file content. File content should be binary over here. But as of now, we don't have any binary content. To get this file content, we are going to use convert file into binary format. Before that, let me click on save. Now, if you see over here, I'm getting an error saying that file content cannot be empty. For that one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use convert file to binary data. Let me drag and drop this action before create file. Let me drag and drop. Now, if you see the context of the convert file to binary, it converts a file into binary data. Now, as part of the use case, I want to select this file. I want to convert this files.docx file into binary format. And then that binary file, I'm going to give it as an input to the create file action. All right, now I'm going to give the file path over here as local path. That is in my local that I'm having e colon power automate desktop. And then I'm going to select files.docx. Now if you see over here, this is my input path for the convert file to binary data action. Now for this action, we are having the output as binary data that will be stored inside the variable that is binary data. And then I'm going to click on save. Whatever the output that we got it from the convert file to binary data action, we are going to give it as an input for the create file inside the file content, right? Because of the create file will accept only binary data for the file content. 
so that we have converted the document file or the file into binary format by using convert file to binary data action. I hope it is very clear for you. Now for the file content, I'm going to select the variable that is binary data. That is the output from the convert file to binary data. I'm going to select that. If you see advanced, I'm having timeout. This is a timeout. We are going to give it as 60 seconds. And then create file having the output the output will be stored in the variables produced that is create file response all right now let me click on save now our small use case is ready which we are going to create a file inside my onedrive for business folder that is power automate desktop by selecting the file path from the local folder and then i'm going to create a file in onedrive for business folders all right now let's run the flow to see the output Flow execution started. At the first step, it is trying to convert a file into the binary data, and then it will create a file in the Power Automate desktop folder, which is available in OneDrive for Business. Now, if you see over here, Power Automate desktop file has been created successfully inside the folder that is Power Automate desktop folder. Now, if you see the output, the first one is the output that is binary data. There you can see it is going to be converting the file into the binary format and that binary data is an input for the create file action that is file content. And then as a response from the create file that we are having the output over here in a such a way that you can see the ID, name of the file, name of the no extension and display name. These are all the responses which we got it from the create file action. I hope you understand how to work with create file action as part of OneDrive for Business Actions in this tutorial.